been their VP. Michael Venom Page. Kaboom KO, baby! Yeah, the game really hard. This game's really hard. Game really hard. English. May I present to you the 24 7 title? What up, YouTube? This is Nate from Thrift Dweller back at you with another Monday Nitro pickups. As always, coming to you after work at nighttime, very late in the Thrift Dweller mansion. I'm doing a pickup video. Uh, pretty much following up from the free video game day vlog that Ian and myself uh, had. That was a fun day. Thank you to everybody. There's a lot of comments on those vlogs, which I really do enjoy. I read everyone's comments on there. I think I, re I think I responded to everybody already. Sorry, it's late at night here. I wanted to get these pickups out of the way. Mostly video game pickups today and just other general geek collectibles, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. I'll save the best pickups for the end, They're right over here. And of course, always joined by William Shatner. Yeah, let's get into it. I'll just do some general geek collectibles. Marge, $1.99. Can you see that? $1.99 from Valley Village. I think this is that Burger King toy or Burger King doll. I, th I have a set of these brand new, but it's... I love Simpsons stuff. Lately on the channel, I've been finding a lot of Simpsons items and I just think they're gonna be generally collectible in a few years and uh, why not get a head start on it now before we open up the thrift dweller flea market spot coming at you 2025 I don't know if we talked about getting a flea market uh, store just pretty much it'll be a couch and a TV and maybe we'll sell some stuff there but just a place to house our collectibles outside of our own house because as you can see just bursting at the seams in, in this house and same thing with Ian eh, I would say Lester and Gary as well but it'll be cool we'll just put like cameras there and that'll be a recording studio live from the flea market no it's not gonna okay better than a cake tasting show right I don't eat very beautifully <laughs> anyways this is the bag for everything I got on that day uh, at the flea market with Ian, the vlog, if you haven't seen the vlog yet, check it out, linked in the description below, and it should be at the end of the video as well. It's free video game day in Winnipeg. It's a local thing, I think. I don't know if it's like national or whatever, but our video game store here, PMP Games, amazing uh, retro video game store since 2007. I was there opening day, still going strong, doing the HMV model, diversifying your bonds, selling a bunch of different things now. But uh, retro video games... I guess, uh, was the staple of their business then. It's kind of like, I don't know, maybe they have so much stock they're just giving it away for free. So basically what they did was they had a bunch of bags like this, non x rayable bags, and you got a free game inside. You didn't know what you got, but they assured us it was not bottom of the barrel games. And I got Dragon Power. Me and Ian were trying to decide, was this like the Dragon Ball game or a Jackie Chan game? I can't remember, please let me know in the comments below. But really cool, it came with this thing called, uh, it says old school on it. But basically this thing cleans your contacts, which is really nice. And you got two coupons, which I better use. Because they expire tomorrow. One free disc resurfacing, sweet. Ian has a whole kit at his house, so we really don't need that. Expires May 12th. $5 off your purchase of $20 or more. Dang it, I didn't realize this was expired already. I was going to use that. Ian used it to buy the tick on Super Nintendo. Good game. Love that beat em up. Uh, you did not see this pickup in the vlog video. Our friend at the flea market, the Oracle, I'm going to call her from now on. Super sweet lady. Uh, she had a bunch of new Super Nintendo games come in. And funny enough, I don't have this in my collection yet. Super Mario All-Stars with Super Mario World. I have Super Mario All-Stars, I have Super Mario World, but I don't have them in the same cartridge. She, me and Ian did like a combination deal for this. So I think I paid about 25 bucks Canadian for this loose. I think that's worth it. I mean, I just, I kind of want it because there's very few games on the Super Nintendo. I'm pointing to my Super Nintendo collection over here. Very few games that I still need. So I might as well just start finishing plugging the holes and eventually I'll just sell all the excess stuff that I really don't care about. But the biggest thing that I got, 20 bucks, uh, complete inbox, Super Star Wars. But yeah, he paid, he took 20 bucks for this. 
I pretty much ruined the manual at the top there when I put it back in, but it does come with the instruction manual and the game. Super Star Wars Super... <laughs> it's like, it's engraved in their VP. Michael Venom Page. Kaboom KO, baby! Yeah, the game really hard. This game is really hard. Game really hard. English. This game is really tough. I haven't played it in a few years, so I might give it another go. I have my Super Nintendo permanently hooked up to the TV over there. It's the one console that I will always have hooked up in my game room. But there you go, 20 bucks. That takes care of the video blog day. And I use a 20% off coupon at Valley Village. I also met Miss Philly. Someone I think said to me, I love your YouTube channel. Thank you so much to whoever you were. She's a local vlogger here, and I do follow her channel. Uh, it'll be linked in the description below. Goes to the thrift store. Cool person. $7.99 minus 20% off for a, a set of bongos. I, I, I want four of these, and this is my third one, so I need one more, and we can, you know, Pokemon. Valley Village. This was a different day, actually. Not, sorry. I'm jumping all over the place here. $2.99 at Valley Village. Centipede. This is my second mini arcade game. Uh, the reason I got this was basically at our Walmart's brand new. These sell for like $20, $24. So this one, actually, you can still buy it brand new for $20. $2.99 from Valley Village was a good deal for this. I'm just praying that there's no corrosive battery damage in there. Battery leaking, causing corrosion in... It's like a Toy Story thing. Anywho, to the games, 20% off from Valley Village. That's not from Valley Village. It's not from Valley Village. $3.99. Uh, you can kind of see it there. Dragon Ball Z, Budokai. Budokai. I got it because it was $3.99 minus 20% off. Boom. I also got Nicktoons Unite, which I don't own yet, oddly enough. And it was recommended by a friend of RC, $3.99 minus. 20% off. Uh, Kelsey, she, this is one of her staff picks when she used to work at uh, PNP Games, and I've always wanted to play the game, but I didn't want to pay $14.99 for it, so there you go. $3.99 minus 20% off. Also, for $2.99 for DVD prices, very criminally not. It's not criminally underrated, but it's a, just a bad movie. Initial D, the live action Chinese version of my favorite anime. Uh, All purpose cultural cat girl. I don't know what that is. It's an anime. I'm going to give it a try. Nuku Nuku. I'm probably saying that wrong. $2.99 for a complete. It's a collection. So for $2.99 minus 20% off. Even though it's in DVD format, I think it's a good value. Let me know in the comments below. Do you know what this is? And a VHS tape. I bought a, why would I buy a VHS tape from Valley Village? Because it is Hercules and Xena. The Battle for Mount Olympus. This is a cartoon based on the best Saturday morning kids show ever made. Uh, Xena the Warrior Princess and Hercules. And it has the voices of Lucy Lawless and Kevin Sorbo in here. I don't even know if this was transferred over to DVD or even Blu-ray yet. So I got it because I haven't seen it in a long time. I actually rented this from our local uh, video rental store back in the day many times. But $2.99 DVD price. A Salvation Army for my second copy of Dark Cloud. This one is complete, and I believe my other one is complete as well, but I'm not sure. But for sure I have at least two copies of Dark Cloud. I remember the PlayStation cover calling this question mark Zelda Killer? I don't see Dark Cloud Breath of the Wild. Let's just say that. Anyways, I haven't even played this game. I've owned it for years now. I really should start playing my PlayStation 2 games. Why do I buy PlayStation 2 games and not play them? Because I fell out of love with video games at the time when PlayStation 2 was out. Mainly because I just had other financial issues and I really couldn't afford a PS2 and I really wanted one. It was so cool seeing Lester buy games and him and his brother playing like the latest and greatest and I'm over here playing Super Nintendo still because that's the last console that my family could afford. Anyways, $2.99 from Goodwill. You can't really see it there. Dead or Alive 2 Hardcore. Complete in box, complete in case. Again, I'm, I haven't played this game. I really should start playing my PS2 games. $2.99 from Valley Village. I got this because I know I can sell this Rey Mysterio for the price of the bag. Maybe more, the potential is there. He could be rare, I don't think so. 
But it had the uh, spider armor, I'm guessing, I don't know, was that Canner Toy? Who made this? To this Toy Biz? Not a lot of people like this armor. And now, if you're looking at the movies and everything, Spider, Iron Spider or whatever, uh, this is probably rudimentary. Basically, it's just armor. Peter Parker made for himself. I can't remember why. This is the cover of the comic book. I read it. I don't remember why he made it. I think it broke in the same issue. The William Shatner Maple Syrup Pickup of the Week, because he's Canadian. So are we, and so are these pickups. You saw on the vlog, $34.99. Regular price is $69.99. So 50% off for this Joker DC collectible vinyl statue. I'll do some B-roll of it in a little bit. I don't I was very hesitant to get it at full price because I was looking at it, you know, through the window box here. And he looks really flat, you know, not too much detail or whatever. But uh, for something so small, it's very hard to get like shading and highlights into something like this without looking really cheap. So uh, yeah, I, I, I'll do an unboxing and review eventually. You should see on the floor here. I have so many unopened collectibles. And the first one that I got, a really nice actually design of Batman. Again, $34.99, uh, regular price $70. And this is a GameStop only because I think the colorway is supposed to be black. Like on the back there, you see he's black. This one is like the blue and gray design, Batman. Looks like it's based on the Jim Lee artwork. That looks like a Jim Lee. I love Jim Lee, he's one of my favorite artists. So 90s. Anyways, 50% off of EB Games, which... I think we're going to be calling them EB Loot from now on, checking out their latest marketing strategy, just selling a bunch of, uh, yeah, loot basically. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think about today's pickups or if you have any questions about anything. Uh, again, thank you to everybody who watches our channel, really do appreciate all the Thrift Dweller heads out there. This is going to, I need a hand signal for Thrift Dweller, like this, like Zangief, you know, hey. Shout out to all the thrift dollars out there. No, that's that's bad. Show them this fist? I don't know what to do. If you can come up with a really nice thrift dollar hand signal for all the thrift dollar heads out there, let me know in the comments below. Again, this is Nate. Don't forget to subscribe to the video. Really do appreciate all our all our wonderful friends out there who leave comments and you know interact and all that. It's really fun to chat with y'all. Anyways, Nate, peace.